Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Welcome once again and How to Paint Watercolours for our beginner section. Pulling over my own teeth. What I'm doing here, I said I'm just applying a very thin film of water all the way down to the tree line I'm bringing it across the tree line but leaving some clear paper, dry paper because I don't want the colour to merge together at the moment because we were putting some trees wet into wet and I will add the reflections separately so things don't get out of control so having done that Wet your brush, any brush you choose, if you choose a round brush, a big round brush or a big flat brush, it doesn't matter, this is a dagger brush I'm using. What I'm using, what I'm trying to show you, is how to get used to colour. Now we're going to bring this all the way down, this is cobalt blue with turquoise, the board is laying flat, bring it right over your elephant down to the tree line this is really easy anybody can paint this it this is so easy Then with that, with the same colour, just leaving a thin line to divide it, all being well, trying not to uh, touch the other paint, then just get this on. You should not be frightened of putting colour on a piece of paper. Some people are. Now, with a stronger mix of the same colour, we're going to darken up the top. This has a little bit more turquoise in it. We're just going to bring this down. Same on the bottom. So you can see the turquoise coming through there on this colour. Just let all this merge. So you're going from a, a dark to a light. And as you can see now, the paper is absolutely soaked with paint and colour. At this point now we leave this till the shine goes off as you can see the bulbs shining on it here. This will give you a good indication of when the paper is damp and is more receptive to a little bit more paint. So I'll join you in a minute. <clears throat> as you can see the paper's dried off quite a lot. The unfortunate thing is it can tend to dry in patches. So we're just going to put a line in here of trees and we're just because the paper is still wet the um, it will bleed upwards and because you have the clear line you have a bit of control of how far it comes down because it won't cross that line underneath the elephant here. This is a mixture of cobalt blue turquoise and permanent rose. Oh my head's not in the way there. And we're just bringing a line of trees in and very gently sort of peeling it off if I can get it to do it towards the end I'm 
and now you can add your reflections in <coughs> at the bottom I don't want the reflections to travel too far I want a little bit more height on the bushes more than anything so you can just encourage the shape and then <coughs> if you really when you've got it where you want it to look the way you want it to look you can just quickly put a stop to the spread with a very quick blast of hot air from a hair dryer if you wish to use one I normally don't I prefer to leave the paper to dry naturally so but on this occasion I think that's as far as I want that to go I'll do that <clears throat> and on this corner here we're just going to implicate uh, a piece of land on the top it's just to be a little bit more transparent than that a little bit weaker and that's that now you must leave this to dry now this is a mixture of turquoise and sepia I'm just going to paint the whole of the elephant in and we'll be adding one or two dark patches just to bring the elephant out a little bit use any brush that you feel comfortable using excuse me a minute down the trunk but it helps to have a, a steady hand Tusk little piece of uh, land here at the moment we'll just see it doesn't matter if this bleeds up I'll just shape this piece of land where the elephant's gone into the river enough to paint round where the blue is the two front legs have merged into one this is a, a stronger mix, mix sorry and just on the underbelly we just want to add a little bit of uh, depth to it areas just to give the elephant a little dimension just down the center of the leg just let this bleed together a little bit maybe here and maybe we'll make the uh, the tail stand out a little bit back to my big brush again is just wet over dry just indicating um, a reflection of your elephant no great detail it really is just an indication only taking once again the colour of the cobalt blue turquoise and a permanent rose some ripples and what this is, shows you is how you can make a really colourful watercolour painting 
just really effective. 